Hello everybody and welcome to my version of NASA's New Horizons mission. Yes, we are just hours probably away from getting the first images from Pluto, the former planet of the solar system, which has now been relegated to the family of dwarf planets. And in order to celebrate the occasion, I decided to replicate that mission in Kerbal Space Program. So I installed the Outer Planets mod, where they uh, add additional planets, for instance a Saturn-like planet, uh, where Elu is now a moon of that, then uh, two other gas planets like Uranus and Neptune, and then a small little rock called Plock. Yeah, I'm taking Plock as my version of Pluto, I'm time accelerating until my version of the Atlas V rocket reaches almost the night side, so because if you launch at night side and escape Earth's trajectory, uh, Earth's sphere of influence of course, not trajectory, then you will be on your way to the outer planets. And here we go! The Atlas V version 551 that NASA has used is quite a special one because it uh, created the first vehicle, well, the vehicle with the fastest escape velocity out of Earth's sphere of influence, which is remarkable. And it was also the first version of the Atlas V rocket that used five solid rocket boosters instead of, up until now, four or two. Interestingly, those five solid rocket boosters are a pain in the ass, honestly, to place in the VAB to make them really work and not make the rocket flip. And now we're on our second stage. It is called the Centaur and it has two rocket motors and will propel us further out of uh, Earth's gravity well. You can see here my orbit increasing, well the apps increasing. Still growing, we're now almost on Juno's level. So the real New Horizons craft, it managed to get straight past the Jupiter and then to Pluto. And now we are on our third stage, which is also a new thing for NASA because that was the first Atlas V vehicle with a third stage, if I remember correctly. And I was using with a small ant uh, solid rocket booster because in reality the New Horizons spacecraft also used a solid rocket booster. I could recite you the uh, correct designation or something, but I have forgotten and you can look it up in Wikipedia if you uh, search for New Horizons. So I am now going to make some correction burns with the ion engine that is on board of the spacecraft. Of course I'm using thermal... Uh, no, not thermal... well yes, it's a thermal generator, that's RTG, uh, but it uses radioactivity to uh, perform, uh, to get some electricity. And I'm using MacJab to uh, fine-tune my uh, maneuver nodes because if you're very far away from your target destination, even the slightest change in delta V can have a lot of influence. You can see here I'm just adjusting by 0.1 or even 0.01 uh, of meters per second of delta V. We have found our desired uh, periaps. And then it is time to complete the burn. Of course I've edited because that took quite some time with some slow ion engine to perform. And yeah, I have to do another maneuver now because I somehow missed it or blasted a little bit too much. Nevertheless, here we are setting up a new periaps. And this is coincidentally somewhat in line with uh, the NASA mission because they had to do, well they planned to do three correction burns, but the first one was so successful that they could skip the second one and go straight to the third one. Which in my case, well the first one was a failure and so I had to do a second one, but I won't be needing a third one. Yes. 
And yeah, NASA was quite more effective than me because they uh, took uh, 8 years or 9 years uh, to get there and I took 25 years. So I could have probably improved that by using some gravity slingshots or whatever. But since time is not really a constraint in Kerbal Space Program, I thought, well, eh, what the heck. But I'm going to one-up NASA here with not just a flyby, but also orbiting around the outermost celestial body known to Kerbal Kind. Or at least Kerbal Kind with the Outer Planets mod installed. This is Plock and it looks a little bit like Minmus. Yeah. Maybe they will change this, whoever does the Outer Planets mod, maybe they will change the, this after the pictures from the New Horizons spacecraft uh, com are coming in, which I'm really looking forward to, I'm quite excited for that. And now we just burn very slowly and, well, I almost missed it, to be honest. But there we go, we are in orbit around Pluto, or Plock in this case. And then we're going to adjust the orbit once more after we have uh, forwarded until then. One more burn and then we're finished. And now it's time to look forward for the real New Horizons spacecraft and its pictures it will send from Pluto. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.